Hi, my name is Casey Scalf. I'm 33. I'm with Sensabellum, and I am an artist here. And I'm working with Jump at Illumibrate 2024, and I couldn't be more excited. I would say, as an artist, I'm someone who's very curious about how the world works. I like solving puzzles, and I really like making art with computers and light. For Illumibrate this year, I am transforming the skip space. So we're going to clear everything out so it's just walls, ceiling, and floor. And I really want to create the ultimate immersive digital art experience I've always been dreaming of. So, you know, having a space to really explore. And that means having a bunch of interactive pieces throughout the middle and then projections all the way around the side, kind of making this um, sci-fi, futuristic, meets nature, dreamscape, very interactive, sound, lights. We'll see if we can get the rest of the senses involved. If I had to include a smell, I'd want it to be kind of like plants. So like, I like evergreen. It smells really good, it's really refreshing. But I've, I've yet to include smells, just because it can get in the air and stay there, and then it becomes a little much. I, say, I would say I make art because, well, I'm really curious about how the world works, and then I get really excited about sharing my insights or my intuition or some of the experiences I've had along that quest. But just uh, writing a paragraph or using my hands in words never suffices, and so I feel like uh, making art or interactive art or light-based art is my favorite medium for conveying those things I've learned throughout my adventures. Events like Illumibrate shape the art community because it's the physical place to go see it happen. So much art nowadays, even if it is a physical piece, is online and you're seeing it through a screen and there's nothing wrong with that because it you know, expands the ability for the art to get out there. But having a real place to go experience it or to see it uh, being created or in its final form and then especially to see it with other people and to say like, what do you think about this piece? Or to bump into the artists themselves and ask about the piece. It's just something you'll never be able to download and it's very special and you don't really find it anywhere else. Everyone loves cool art just like they love great music and so you need a, a venue for that. You need a platform for the artists too. And so uh, I really see it as you know, the physical place where it happens. And of course then when you have yearly events, it becomes this like punctuation on the artistic scene, whether it's starting the season or ending the season or it's just something you can rely on and be like, okay, last year was great. I can't wait for this next year. To imagine the ideal art scene here in Treasure Valley, well, it'd be like a spot you know that is just going to be to have the arts there. The place you could go to to be like, I know there's going to be something cool happening there. I know it's from this time to that time. Or I know that there's going to be, you know, on Thursdays or every first Monday, there's going to be an artistic event happening there or some behind the scenes. Like, I think that would be really excellent. It's an awesome opportunity and I'm honored to be part of the scene here and yeah, be sure to check out the skip building uh, adjacent to the main jump building. It's going to be awesome. <laughs>